When the toss variable is greater than the expire variable, the loop until condition will be met and the logic will continue down the program. At this time, you need to communicate that the player holding Sphero is out with some lights and sound, and also shake the robot. Go to Controls, drag a delay block. Make sure you place it after the loop until block, and set it to one second. Now go to Lights and Sounds and drag a sound block and choose the Game You Lose sound and set it to Continue. Then place a main LED block and change it to yellow. The last part of the expire sequence will be the potato, or sphero, shaking. Go to Movements and drag a raw motor block. Set both the left and the right motor power to 255 and the duration to 2 seconds. The Sphero should be pretty hard to keep in your hands at this point. After the expire sequence, a player will be removed from the game and the rest of the players will keep playing until there is one left. Go to Controls, drag a delay block, and set it to 1 second. Now you need to let the current player know that he or she is out. So drag a speak block and write, you're out. The last step is to reset the toss variable to zero so the game resets for another round. Go to variables, drag a set block, choose toss, and set the value to zero. That's it, you have built the entire hot potato game. Go to the next step to play the game.